Good afternoon. It's an honor to welcome you here this afternoon for this exciting event. I'm Colonel Jim Prevatera, and on behalf of Sheriff David G. and the men and women of the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, we want to thank you for joining us here today. Today we officially open the Freddie Solomon Boys and Girls Club at Nucio Park after more than a year of planning and construction to make this day happen. The dedication, commitment, and determination of a lot of people have gone into honoring our dear friend Freddie Solomon. This club will stand as a living tribute to the example of service and love that Freddie gave to this county, but in particular to the Nucio Park community. The, um, as Freddie did each day of his life, the Boys and Girls Club that will now bear his name will provide a place for our children to learn important lessons and find both hope and opportunity as they move along life's road to their futures. The mission of the Boys and Girls Club is stated as to enable all young people, especially those who need us most, to reach their full potential as productive, caring, and responsible citizens. I venture to say that if Freddie had been asked to articulate his mission statement in life, it might have sounded pretty similar. We'll always be grateful to Freddie Solomon for the example that he gave all of us at the Sheriff's Office. He taught us what it truly meant to serve others through his humble actions. Today we're thankful to everyone that has helped to make this club possible. We're especially thankful to Sheriff G, to our Chief Deputy Jose DeCobo, who have been steadfast in their commitment to the Nucio Park community and to working to provide this place for our children. We'd also like to thank our county commissioners and the many elected leaders from this area and beyond that have supported the effort of the Sheriff's Office and constructing this Boys and Girls Club. We've also worked hand in hand uh, with our county administrator, Mike Merrill, and our deputy county administrator, Sharon Subedan, and the heads of a number of county agencies, including the Parks Department, in uh, working on this building and, and making this all come to be. There's a lot of members from throughout the Sheriff's Office family that have contributed to this club, including members of the District 1 under the leadership of Major J.R. Burton and members of the Community Outreach Division led by Major Sank Montoot. We especially want to thank the members of our facilities staff who labored to ensure that every detail of this building's renovation was addressed properly and done completely. Director Rick Swan, uh, uh, Mr. Al Cordova, uh, Manager Arnold Chueba were among the supervisors in the facility section that led the effort. It was a talented staff of uh, tradesmen, and I think some of them are here today, although they're probably hiding from me because they know I'm going to do this, that uh, worked here literally sometimes seven days a week in order to make sure that everything was done. Uh, I came out here one night and they were working with headlights uh, pointed at the building to make sure that they could finish their tasks for the day. Uh, those individuals are George Bermudez. George, where are you? Come on, George. Where's the rest of you guys? George was a supervisor and he was a guy that when we needed floor tiles, and we didn't have the money to buy them. Um, George was the guy who said, wait, I think I know where some might be. And um, miraculously, floor tiles appeared. I don't know where they came from, and I'm not gonna ask any questions. But uh, George was assisted by his crew, Marcelino Cano. Where are you, Marcelino? <laughs> Troy De Hoyas. Where's Troy at? Some of these guys are still running around working inside here. Uh, Eduardo Gonzalez. George Hernandez, Jericho John Peter, where are you? John Peter, where are you? I saw him running around. Here he is, hiding in behind his sunglasses. Robin Mori, Isaac Morphy, and Rafael Rodriguez. Did I get them all? These guys have done. It. Dee's shaking her head. They were out here. They found an area where somebody had dumped grease. And they were out here one night digging the grease out and replacing it with dirt. And they, they said, hey, we, can f we found sprinklers. I said, sprinklers? And they said, yeah, we dug them up and we got them working. So it, it, thank you, guys. It's, it's beautiful. You'll see when we go in here and cut this ribbon today what a fantastic job they have done renovating the center. So thank you.
And finally, we want to thank uh, a lot of the, the many donors who contributed financially to the Freddie Solomon Boys and Girls Club. Without your kindness, none of this could have ever happened. Uh, we are renewed by your demonstration of support for the Sheriff's Office and for the community that we serve, but most importantly, your commitment to our children because they truly are our future. As everybody knows, Freddie Solomon uh, was an athlete who played professional football, who started the University of Tampa. He was always part of a team. But uh, truth be known, as I, I came to find out when I got to know Freddie, uh, the only team that I think mattered to Freddie was Team D. So it's my honor to introduce D. Solomon. As I reflect on everything that has happened in the last nine months, it's because I'm short. I mean, you know. Okay, I'll start over, I'm sorry. <clears throat> As I reflect on everything that has happened in the last nine months, I'm so happy to be here today <clears throat> to introduce to you our baby, the new Freddie Solomon Boys and Girls Club at Nucio Park. I wasn't supposed to do this today. I thought I was going to get through it, but I, I'm okay. In January, at the renaming of the center, I tried so hard to express how much you and this park meant to Freddie, but I'm really not quite sure I did a good job of explaining it. Today, I want to thank you all who saw this vision and helped to make it a reality. And as we begin this venture together, one of Freddie's favorite sayings will come to life. There is much more work to be done. I am certain that together we will make this Boys and Girls Club something we can cherish for many, many years to come. Our hearts are definitely in the right place but we need your hearts to be in the right place too. Enjoy your Boys and Girls Club and take care of one another. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here today to share in this special unforgettable moment. Thank you. Thank you, Dean. Throughout Hillsborough County, the Sheriff's Office uh, enjoys an outstanding working relationship with the Boys and Girls Clubs of Tampa Bay. It's my honor to introduce the president of the Boys and Girls Clubs of Tampa Bay, Mr. Brad Baumgartner, to say a few words. Oh, my. Um, D and, and, and myself and the Boys and Girls Club staff and the Hillsborough County Sheriffs have uh, worked hard over the last year to get us to this point and uh, what, an, uh, what a fun point to be at. But I can't thank you enough, Sheriff G, for the confidence that you've had in the Boys and Girls Club over the last couple dozen years with your support and Brandon and Riverview and now the Freddie Solomon Boys and Girls Club at Nucio Park means a lot to us and it's gonna mean a lot to the kids in this particular community. I also wanna thank the uh, county commissioners for uh, their confidence in Boys and Girls Club, um, our other partners, Hillsborough County Schools, of Robles Elementary. Uh, we probably already have a waiting list of kids that wanna attend this particular club. Um, you know, it'll average over 100 boys and girls a day. And we'll we will be providing programs. Academic success is very important to us. Uh, healthy lifestyles and character and leadership. Um, we can't thank, again, the Sheriff's Department for what you've done with the facility and George. Uh, 
if you get in the way while they're doing things, they just push you out of the way and make it happen. But the transformation of this facility from what it was a year ago, it's been uh, uh, outstanding. And uh, Colonel Jim, Privatera, and Chad, I can't thank you guys enough for helping us and you raising the dollars necessary to make sure that Boys and Girls Club will always be here and uh, we'll always be providing services to kids who need us the most. So thank you again. Dee, we're looking forward to working with you and of course always with the Sheriff's Department and providing this wonderful facility for kids who need us the most. Thank you. And now I'd like to introduce Sheriff David G. Thank you. Let me um, let me tell you, it's great to be a sheriff in an agency where we we haven't be, built a jail during my administration, but we built three boys and girls clubs. So let me tell you. I, I, I wear that as such a badge of honor. And I and I again, I, I can't underscore the appreciation to uh, the members of our staff. Uh, Sheriff always gets all the credit and all the other guys do all the work. That's, that's the way it is. But uh, let me thank all of you uh, who played a leadership role in this. I'll thank my chief deputy, Joe DeCobo, who's a great visionary and he, he, uh, he gets a lot of things done. He doesn't get a lot of credit. Sometimes people don't know he's the, he's the guy that's, that's uh, uh, making things happen. Joe, I appreciate that. This facility it's already been said, this, this represents a lifetime of work by Coach Freddie Solomon. This is what his life was really all about. Uh, it was, uh, we, we often talk, we talk about his NFL career and all that, but I remind everybody that um, Freddie often said, you know, he, he enjoyed his time uh, and he enjoyed his time in the NFL, but this uh, was his real life. And, um, and I think we all know that this is what he's, this is what he was really known for, and this is what he wanted to be known for, not not Super Bowls or anything else. He he just enjoyed working with children. So um, I think this is his legacy. This is not a memorial. This is a this is a working center. We're building young lives, and and that's what this is about. And we're going to be uh, we got a, we have a lot of work to do in this community, um, and we're excited about it. And let me just say that. Um, uh, I, along with everybody at the Sheriff's Office, we're fully committed um, to the Boys and Girls Club and this partnership. It's worked out for many years here in Tampa Bay, Brad, and um, we're, we're ready to get to work. So with that, I think I'm going to give Brad the keys so he can open up the doors and we can get going. <laughs> Thank you. Hey. <laughs> 